Hey guys, what's going on? I decided to sit here and react to one of my favorite comedians of all times, Patrice O'Neill. He is so funny and uh, being in the comedy world, we all have to uh, enjoy him. And if you don't know him, uh, you need to check out some of his stand-up. He is epically awesome. Look, I'm here for you. I'm just telling you what we are, what we are. You know, not who we are, what we are. Just like what we are that, that, that makes us struggle. And really, men are perfect creatures except for, you know, one. Like, if most women would want to be a man, if you didn't have to give up that power that you have, which is our weakness. That's our weakness. It's very difficult. I'm telling you, man. Like, I don't want to want to be with other women, ever. Like, I want to just walk down the street and go, I never need to look at another woman again. Because I'm with the last woman I'm ever going to be with. And I'm like, but it ain't real. It's just... <laughs> like, no guy wants to cheat and hurt his woman, man. That hurts. First of all, think about what cheating is for a second, ladies. Cheating is a man. He sneaks out of his own house to go, like, find some happiness behind your back so your feelings aren't hurt. is for you. It's not It's not for me. We don't want to hurt you. If you give a lie detector test to a man and a woman and ask them the same questions, man, we would pass them both up to a point where it's like, hey, ask a woman, you love your man, you love your family, you love your home, you love what you built. Yep. All right. You see Brad Pitt or Denzel Washington or whatever standing there, would you risk everything you built with your man just to sleep with him? And women, look, they go, nah, we wouldn't. And they'll, they'll pass the test. They'll be like, eh, you know, I, I, they look good, but I wouldn't. Ask guys the same thing, you know, boom, of your woman, the kids, the house, yeah. All right, you, you see that girl passed out behind a dumpster? <laughs> Would you risk everything for a passed out woman behind a dumpster? I don't want to, but look at her with garbage on. She looks so cute with garbage on. You ever discussed threesomes, gorgeous? You never had a threesome discussion with your man after 10 years. Like, just even talk to him about it. Just to talk. Like, because it'll make them, wouldn't a, just a nice threesome talk make you feel like, oh, man, just cool that she lets me get a little bit of that evil out, right? And by the way, ladies, a threesome is two girls and a guy. The girls be thinking, what about two guys and a girl is a train? That is me and him. I don't even know him. Why are you staring at me? Let me fuck my half of the torso. Catch this nigga blinking at me while I'm trying to fuck my half of the body. Damn. Damn. Nigga don't have train etiquette. <laughs> you don't understand that, right? Women don't relate to that crap. Because you don't understand how much, uh, to get sex with a guy, man, it's hard. It's harder to find, it's harder to get sex than it is to find love. I swear to God. Women hold down, they, you gotta be smooth to get, I'm telling you, to get through that. Because women are like the beef eaters from, uh, England with the big hats and them dudes be, <laughs> who goes here? You trying to, like, charm your way into the palace and you just be like, Tickle, tickle, baby, tickle, tickle. And she's just, you're not gonna get through. Oh, come on. And, and that skill, women don't, you don't have it because you don't need it. You don't have to have swagger to get something tonight. You don't. You can just.
just point at it. You can look at a guy, right, catch his eye and go like this, and you go, me, and then you just point right there. And don't be sexy. Don't be like, ooh, just, just, bleh. And he'll look around for a minute to make sure it ain't a trick, like, <laughs> Monsters is giving up pussy, man. What am I do? What am I do? Say no? <laughs> We're like, uh, I'm trying to like make it so women just like understand a little bit of like just to sympathize. It's like we're we're like sport fishermen. This is what I'm saying. That's what men are. We, I mean, being with one woman, I mean, for real, ladies, if you just said thank you to your man for being faithful, you just go thank you, man. Thank you for fighting. <laughs> He'd be like, damn. And if you, if he told his friends that you thanked him for fighting hard and not cheating, his friends would be like, what? what? Like, they would look at you like you was amazing. It's simple. Men like to fish. And if sport fishing is different from catching fish for food. You just get it, you get it, you catch it, and you, you know, you, you show your friends. Because you want them to know that you, you catch fish. Take a couple of pictures so you can show people the fish that you have the ability to catch. And then you release it back into the water. But a lot of women in here, you have boyfriends or husbands, you were fish that jump back on the boat. <laughs> and just was like flapping, looking at me like. Hi. Uh, I was wondering if you're going to be fishing here again next week. Like. fish get off my boat <laughs> is that how you treat all the fish you'd be like oh god damn nope i'm sorry sweetie you're the last fish i ever wanted to be with now you stuck stuck with the last fish who was loving you and fighting hard to be on your boat then she got comfortable and now she started doing this she's like so we've been together for like a year now, why do you still have a boat? You'd be like... <laughs> so what you trying to say, I can't catch fish no more? <gasps> why do you need to catch a fish? <laughs> because if I lose my ability to catch fish, then you're not going to find me sexy no more. So you got to smell fish on me so that you know I can catch fish so you can act right. <laughs> It's like, guys, you meet your girl, she was a hoe. Like, had hoe, like, she put old booty and this and that. You gotta let her do that. Don't start trying to trump her up and get her fat and get her foul. Because that's why you like her. I don't want no woman that no other guy's trying to fuck. I don't want a woman that I can send to the store at 2 in the morning. Because <laughs> nobody's gonna try to rape her. Like, I go... Go get some bread at 3 in the morning. Hey, cut through the alley, bitch, because... Because <laughs> I talked to the junkies. They don't want it. They ain't got it down like this. <laughs> and I'm just... I'm Look, I'm, uh, to be fair to women, um, you know, it's... Look, God has been very uh, cruel to you. Being a woman as a creature is, I think it's just, it's just unfair. I, I wouldn't want to be a woman. It's just, I mean, like your period, like I look, I look at that and see what my woman go through every month. Like if my nose bled every month, I think I would kill myself. I would be like, oh, oh my God. You gotta stick something in your nose with a string hanging out. 
try to take that out, whatever, your seven seconds or whatever, and five days before your nose bleed, you know it's going to bleed, but you don't know when, so you just sitting there like, when is my nose going to start bleeding? Oh my God. And then if your nose don't bleed when it's supposed to, you're like, oh my God. My nose is supposed to be bleeding by now. I'm going to go to the hospital if it's not bleeding soon. And y'all get horny. And my woman gets horny on her face. Oh, my God. And I ain't down with that. And I see her face. Like, if I would do it one time, it probably would change her life. Like, she would be... Just so grateful, but I just can't. She's like, come on, come on. Just lay a, come on, lay a towel or something down. And I was going to do it one time, and then I Googled the whole cycle. It's all kind of stuff. I don't I sharpen the mop stick every month. I just poke. I go, yeah, get back. Yeah, back. Get in the closet. Get out of here. Slide some raw meat under the door. Eat that for a week. Yeah, get back. It's amazing. It's oh, my goodness, guys. He is so funny. I'm so happy I watched this. It's really good, guys, to watch funny videos before you go to bed. This definitely... Um, helps me kind of be more more uh, present and gets me off of thinking about stressful things. And Patricia O'Neill is so funny that stuff he was saying about women on their periods is very relatable. And, and for him to be a man and talking about that, you're like, wow, you get it. You totally, totally get it. And I guess he gets, I don't really understand the stuff about men, but I guess he gets that too. The stuff about the analogy about fishing. I was like, wow, that makes a lot of sense a lot of sense in the thing you said about the girl like because I always date these guys and like they meet me as like who I am this girl on Instagram and then all of a sudden they're like want me to like you know be different so it's so funny I always like you don't want to change a girl so next guy I date I'm gonna have to put this video on for them but guys always your favorite part of the video I think mine was definitely the period talk I really like the period talk let me know in the comments below if there's anything funny that you want to react to with me or my mom. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you give this video a subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for supporting my newest film, Pay to Die. We're almost at 80,000. It's amazing. Uh, give this video a like and support the Patreon. I want my Lauren. See these videos there before they're here. All right. Bye.